goodness, what a beautiful day. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our journey beyond the abyss. Yes. So, we have reached a wonderful new threshold. We have a lovely crafting table, and our immediate goal is to work our way up to an even better crafting table. Life is just wonderful like that sometimes. Our first goal of the day is matchstick is just a like a single-use fire starter. Useless to me, I'm afraid. Our first goal of the day is likely to be creating a furnace. So, to create a furnace, we are going to need to first start with a refractory oven. And to make that, we are going to need a regular oven. Let's just grab a whole dang stack of bricks. Uh, not enough pulp. Do I have water in the pots? No, I don't. That's fine. Hmm. Maybe I should make another set of stashes for clay balls and something else. Ah, but yes, watch this. Uh, stone bucket. Boop. Crafting is so much easier now. Oh, I already had one. Derp. But yes, that just feels luxurious. Being able to shift-click a recipe in place. Being able to craft it without a hammer. We are living the good life. We are living in the lap of luxury. Even as the hail begins to batter down on our heads. I move my sugar cane to a stash. Speaking of... Is this a good time to... No, it hasn't grown up much at all, really. It is a good time to harvest our charcoal, though. Especially since I do believe I just saw the last of the tar bales go. So we can immediately cycle them in. Tar bales will give us nothing but charcoal, I do believe. Yes, lots and lots of charcoal. They're squishy. <sighs> It'd be hilarious if a hailstone just hit me while I was trying to sleep and woke me back up. I mean, then I'd have monsters to contend with. But it would still be funny just because of the sheer unlikelihood and... Well, it would just be a demonstration of how my luck usually goes. Yep, just like that. That's about typical, really. Oof. You are going to take out the church, ain't you? Maybe. Neat. In any case, let's make ourselves seven sets of masonry bricks if we can. And with those, we should be able to make a stone oven, which is just going to need a piece of tinder. Easy enough. And then we are going to need some more refractory bricks. Yes. So it's probably a good time to get on just crafting those. We'll, eh, we don't really have any room in miscellany. Let's just put that right there. Start putting away the rest of our stuff. This stonework table... I should upgrade it to another crafting bench right away. Yep. No reason not to. Because I think the only use for it is to make crafting benches, and crafting benches do have a couple of crafting uses just in and of themselves. So... Crafting bench. We'll just keep that right here for now. 
Uh, two stacks and eight. Oh wait, it should be two stacks and sixteen, shouldn't it? Well, I do believe that I have a uh, lovely collection of flakes over here. Yes, good. And hopefully my axe can last until I can build up the new uh, the new work table. What's it called? Uh, basic work table? No. It's basic workshop. Yes, because this thing has a whole bunch of uses for it. Oh, is it not? I, I could swear that this was the chapter where I could start building just plain... Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Yes, once we can build this workshop, we'll be able to build replacement tools that are just plain, you know, Minecraft tools. Easy as you please. So that is something we need to work for. But making said workshop is going to take a hot minute because we need to make that furnace. So, we need to get on making some more refractory bricks. Now, there is a better recipe for making crushed limestone, I do believe. Is it not available yet? Crush. Yes. But unfortunately, that does require the basic workshop, so we just need to do it the old-fashioned way. Do I have any in storage at the moment? Not looking like it. Oof. Pardon me, game. Forgive me for interrupting your lag. However, I do believe that what we can do now is... No, not... I thought I saw that... Iron anvils were now appearing in NEI. Yeah, oh, they just require... Yes. Uh, that is a better anvil with much improved durability. This basic slag can just be used for slag heaps, which can make some fancy glass. I don't think this can make fancy glass. So let's just throw all that out. And let's get to refractoring. I could run over in the millionaire village and I could steal one of their furnaces. I could do that. But I'm gonna try and leave the village as untouched as possible, you know? Millionaire is a very fragile mod. There are lots of things that break the villages utterly and cause them to fail in abstract ways NPCs can lock up, shops can just close down, inventories can never stock again. So I try and not mess up the village as best I can. There will be times when I'm going to have to do things like poke holes in buildings in order to let pollution out, or... Yeah, I think that's pretty much the only change I actually need to make to the village but I will try to avoid just stealing from them, even though it could advantage me enormously right now. Actually, does the alchemist have a furnace? The alchemist ain't part of the village. He's fair game. Hell, I'm already kind of scamming him just by dint of the fact that uh, I took his tools to do a quest that I'm never going to do. Admittedly, mostly because I don't think I can actually do it. If I could do it, then, yeah, sure, why not, but... <clears throat> so, yes, do you have anything nice for... You do. Oh, good lord, you do. Anything in them? Well. Yep, and he does not give a good goddamn about it. This is a lock chest? Yes, it is. Lock chests won't, um... If I if I did break that if I did break that chest, then nothing would come of it. It would just uh, disappear, and I could steal tons of books if I ever have need of them. 
Excellent. Well, never mind all that folly about making more refractory bricks. We want to hold off on that until we have the workshop because it'll help us out a ton with it. Hell, I could have saved myself that little bit of trouble crushing limestone by hand, as you saw. So, uh, yes. We are approaching the wonders of this new, brave, modern age already. I should go out and buy more tripes. I think I prefer them over eating tons of melon day in and day out. In any case, so that was six more wood. I need to get more wood. You heard me. I'm not ashamed of it. Get the jungle pods on the bar. I don't need very much. Just enough to get me through. And yes, the uh, sawmill is another one that I'm desperately looking forward to upgrading. But holding off because refractory bricks are about to become much easier. I think there's nothing for it but to wait on that. Uh, I do think we still need to melt some clay. Yeah, I should have a clay ball stash, I think. Oh, I, I didn't move all my charcoal to the stash. That's why I'm a little bit confused right now. Well, that and, you know, just the baseline state of my existence being mildly confused. All right. You know what? Let's put another batch on there. Because it should be able to. Yeah, it has more to go. Well then, I think without further ado, let's get this workshop going. Workshop. There it goes, basic workshop. That is what we're looking for. Now, the one fancy thing about workshops is they don't just take in materials, they also take in liquids. And I like to have one workshop per liquid. So this first one will be our water workshop. And that is just a bunch of quests done. Ooh, Norman leggings. Neat. And a, and a denier ore. The rewards are getting very nice. The rewards are getting very, very good. Now, I'm just going to use an entire bucket filling this thing with water. Because they hold quite a bit. Yes, that exactly filled it up. They hold 16 buckets. Good to know. But yes, as you might have seen, now I can just... Instead of having to fiddle around with tool rods and all that, two sticks and three cobble, or three bricks, masonry bricks, will in fact make me an axe. And I believe that these should be roughly as good as bone axes. And the same goes for shovels, for pickaxes. We are basically now never going to run out of the basic tools ever again. And I'll get a shovel, too. No. And I think even more importantly than that... Wrong slot. Even more importantly than that, we can now make Minecraft torches. Yep. Just a stick and coal, as you would expect, except it's also going to take a little bit of water each and every time, and 
Some crafting recipes, you need to have tools in order to complete them. And I believe that, in fact, will be... No, our next chess, our next quest is going to be the tool sticks, tears, two, durable twine, and glue. Okay, so tool stick tier two is something we could have made last age, I think. Uh, yes, it's just refractory clay, these copper rods, and tool stick tier ones. Except if we have a carpenter's workshop with a uh, handsaw, we get three times as many for it. And isn't that lovely? So to make a carpenter workshop, all we need is another basic workshop with some added ingredients. Now, durable twine is relatively easy. I believe that's just regular twine soaked in wood tar, and that can be done in the uh, in the uh, basic workshop. Let's see. That is one bucket to make 25 that way. That is 125. So yes, it is vastly more efficient on wood tar to do it in a basic wood sh in a basic workshop. So yeah, that's something we could do, I guess. Make us a uh, make us a. Um, we need to make a tank in order to make another workshop. But yes, make us a wood tar workshop is what my brain was trying to say. Yes, it's just as easy as that when you are blatantly stealing from the alchemist. So let's see here. We can put a second drain on our burn pile, and the drains don't actually need to be the fancy refractory drains. Um, the one major difference is hot fluids, which I don't think coal tar or wood tar are hot fluids, and those are basically the only things the pit tar the pit burner is going to make. Um, but um, the stone drain can have a max range of 3x3 three three, while the refractory has a 5x5 five five max. So really the only difference is if you want a really, really, really huge uh, burner. Three and six. And we don't really care about being over the top huge. We'll also just get a regular old stone faucet. Three bricks, two balls. And some more. That. And there we go. Just as easy as that. And we also need a soaking basin. Now we got some more kindling as quest reward, I guess. More twine. Anything else that's unusual in my pack? Uh, no, not really. Get some more pulp, a pulpin. And, oh yes, I don't need a soaking basin, no. I need just to set this down. And there we go. And uh, if it had any wood tar in there, it would just flow straight down in. But I guess... We don't have any right now, so let's cut down some trees. It doesn't matter if these aren't fully grown. We don't need to fully maximize every single... Oh, wow, we got eight denier ore. Goodness gracious. Yes, I'm not sure if it's a little bit slower than flint and bone axe. But it works just fine. And having tools this cheap is frankly more useful than having tools that are just a little bit faster. If they are even a little bit faster. It could just be that these trees grew up to full, full size and so take forever to cut down. Oh, why not? We have a lovely little tree farm off on the water, so even if I'm overloaded, I can still move. Let's get the whole dang deal. Yes. You can still swim relatively fast underwater, even fully loaded down. 
The only real downside is how zoomed in your view gets. <sighs> I guess then technically you could keep yourself mobile when overloaded just by carrying around a bucket of water. Like, if you splooshed it down, would you be able to... Would you be able to move upstream? That's kind of worth a test, except I don't have a bucket on me. And really, science like that should wait until you have infinite bucket. Because, yeah, that's something that's going to be on the menu pretty soon. Proper iron bucket. Exciting days. I think that I should be able to make log piles in any basic workshop. Yep. And just bizarre Minecraft physics, log piles are uh, weightless, pretty much. They weigh 50 milligrams each. Why do I feel like I'm overloaded still? Eh. Just my brain being insane, I suppose. Lovely, lovely charcoal, and now we will get lovely, lovely wood tar and charcoal. That's a going. Put those away. Got a lovely collection of wood log piles. All right, and uh, let's work on making some glue. I guess I need to make some refractory clay after all, unless I have some clay balls. Because, uh, yeah, the way you make glue is in your basic workshop. You take some pulp, you take some lumps of refractory clay, and you take some slime. And the way you get slime is uh, you take some refractory clay and you put it in water. Or we do have one piece of coagulated blood, but I'm going to need more glue than this would give me. Yeah, even if I turned it into slime and turned that slime into glue, that would only give me one glue. And I'm going to need a couple of them for the carpenter's workstation, which is kind of my unofficial goal at the moment. It definitely feels a lot faster getting all of these now when I don't have to worry about conserving axe power because I know I can just build another axe real damn easy. Eh, let's save up our wood chips until we have a full burn's worth of them. Then we'll just compact that down. Oh, we're actually questing towards a carpenter's workstation. Why are tier two sticks parts of that? They really aren't part of the crafting recipe. Hmm. What am I on plain wood boards? Have I got any of those? I don't think I do. Let's compact a full eight logs down into sticks. Cause, or, or boards, rather, I should say. Because I'm going to get a surprising amount of them from this. Oh, my pack is messy right now. Yeah, let's just pile them all in. We'll take out whatever change we have. I suppose, well, no, that is processing quickly enough that I kind of need to keep an eye on it. Oops. Uh, but yes. What I was talking about refractory clay being easier now, I remember what I was waiting on. Yes, you see, in the basic workshop, two lumps instead of three will make a clay ball. And those lumps of refractory clay, 
those are made easier too. All we need is slaked lime and flint clay. And in fact, I believe flint clay can be made much easier. Yes. 25 gets you one as versus... Uh, yeah. As versus a bucket only getting you four. Much more efficient on clay. So, uh, yeah, let's... Let's make ourselves yet another workshop. I think Raiding the Alchemist actually gave us exactly enough for all of our basic uh, basic uh, liquid work tables. That's lovely. Wood chips. Tank. And then workshop. Basic workshop. <laughs> yes, there we go. And we can just set that right on there. I believe we have a batch of melted clay in there. Let's just get a faucet for it. And I'm going to need three of those. And cycle in the next batch of wood. And can this side take a faucet? Yes, it can. And yep, it just pours straight on into the table. It's fine. It looks so jank. But we love it for it. Now, I also believe that we can get crushed flint way easier. Yeah. With just this hammer. So we don't need to go through the... And, and yes, flint shards also can be crushed with a hammer. So, these artisans' hammers, they all do the same job. You see it's flashing between them on here. But they all have different durabilities, and each craft is going to take you certain amounts of it. So you want the best durability you can get. And uh, you see diamond is uh, pretty high up there. Yep. I think the only one better is Platinum. Let's see, 1561 versus... Yeah, but we ain't going to be having Platinum to throw around forever. And uh, yeah, pretty much the only difference in the... Can I even see the recipes? Huh. It ain't letting me... Ah, there it is, Copper. Yes, it's just basically swapping out the material. But they are going to require quite a lot of tool stick Tier 2s. Hmm. Lovely. Collection of boards. Let's rescue our charcoal. And there we go. So, we have a bit of a conundrum. Do we make one last batch of refractory clay the relatively inefficient way and uh, use that to help us get up to the carpenter's workshop? Because we're going to need one, two, three, four, five. That's a reasonable amount of refractory clay to make, I think. So yeah, let's just make it the efficient way one last time just as a sort of celebration of what we're about to invalidate, I suppose. So there are some limey limes, slake them down, and we can be partially efficient, I suppose, because instead of having to, um, instead of having to mess around with ash and all that, I can just do this over on the work table with... Let's use the one that's already a little bit damaged. Yes, I remember. There we go. Oh, right. I forgot that it expands into vastly larger amounts of powder than you would expect. But, oh well. I 
forgot that I am out of food. Oh well. I need to burn some more clay anyway. Let's fill up our table the rest of the way with this. Actually, can I do that without any sort of... I can. Good. That is a toolless recipe. Lovely. Let us go and get some food while our lime is a slaking. Is there a pig farm on this side? There usually is. The two or three times I've seen this village generate. No, this is a cidery. Hmm. Tree farm. Well. Usually there's a pig farm somewhere on the outskirts, and I remember we've seen one on the other side, but there can be two pig farms in a village. Let's try out the black sausage, if we can find it. No, nope. looks like the tripes will find us first. And I'll... Oh. I didn't know that right clicking would just buy you as much as you could as you could hold on to. I meant to just buy two. I thought it would stack up in my hand the two. Oh well. Oh well, we have lots of tripes now. We have all the tripes that we can gorge ourselves on. I'll probably store most of these in a crate. It's fine. This just means that we have a little bit of food to... Oh, yeah, see, they've they've not just been improving the village, they've been decorating it. Drink out of the fountain. Just a little measure of continued establishing of dominance. Ah, uh, yes, Presbyter. Lovely. They should have a glass workshop in the village somewhere. Because I saw that they have... Uh, Stained glass windows in play now. Woodcutters. Oh, come on. Where is it? The glass cutters how, uh, workshop is usually pretty cool. Ah, well. I guess this is just an impromptu overview of the village in any case. Yeah. It hasn't been upgraded yet. No, this is their house that isn't their workshop. This is their workshop, and yes, you see it has a, uh, it has a little bit of an issue. I suppose that just because this house is becoming a little bit hazardous, we should uh, help them out. There we go. And it should, yes, we see it draining off very steadily. That'll probably take like a half an hour or so to completely empty out just because there's so many blocks that are going to have to move to the sides. And side to side movement of pollution is very slow. Oof, hot day. That's a rare treat. Let's put all our spare accidental tripes in here. And we have some lime. We have some clay. And these days, that's all it takes to create masses of refractory clay. Yep. So much faster now. So, uh, to make that, I needed five. Let's just... And, yes, I'm also going to need some lumps of refractory clay just to make this, the uh, glue. So we now have a use for keeping the little lumps in our in our pocket as well. And I believe that in order to make slime, yeah, it takes a bucket per. So you want your 
you want your uh, soaking basins to be completely full. I can't words tonight. I don't know why. I believe that because these things only hold four buckets, it should automatically limit itself to four per, even though, yeah, even though the limit is normally eight. Ah, our charcoal is done. Excellent. Get another batch going right away. We want to start amassing a nice nest egg of charcoal. We are going to need tons of it to make steel. So just planning ahead. And in fact, depending on how much time I decide to spare to making refractory bricks to turn this into a proper refractory burner, I might want to expand this to a 3x3. Three three. But that also means that I need masses of charcoal to do a single burn. And sometimes having the more consistent income rather than big bursts but rare is better. I suppose it doesn't matter if we are trying to plan ahead and we're just always... Um, I could have another batch going, but it doesn't... Yeah, no. The pots are in use right now. Um, I, it, it doesn't matter much if we are playing the plan ahead game, but, you know, you can always only plan ahead so far. Okay. I forget. I could have swear that there was a more intensive use for ash right now. Potash? No, that. I don't think that's really useful right now. Hmm. You know what? I think that maybe I was misremembering ash being useful. So let's start compacting it down and let's just keep two stacks worth of ash blocks. Especially since uh, axe power and shovel power is no longer really limited anymore. And we'll find some worthy cause to use that stash for. That sounds like it might be a plan. And yes, that's what you have to do when you don't have even change. And we'll just store this away in the wood adjacent products. Lovely filling food. And we have slimy balls. It's a medical condition, I'm afraid. And we need to turn them into sticky glue, which is going to require tons of pulp. Equal amounts of ball of clay balls and pulp, which... okay, cool. So I believe that should in fact be enough, but I'm gonna need to start making more pulp. No, that is not in fact enough. Shoot. Well, it is enough to make our carpenter's table at least. And that is kind of our goal right now. I guess this is kind of a plant product. It's also kind of a mineral product. Let's let's put it in there. Anyway, yes! Clay balls! And uh, also, I can take out 
25 twine and turn that into with just a little bit of wood tar 25 fancy twine this stuff is a couple of a uh, couple of uses technically we, we should have been using this for some things last age like if I wanted to shear sheep um, I think this rock bag might be useful for carrying around all the bajillion pebbles that Pyrotech spawns but unfortunately it doesn't really save us weight since it only carries pebbles I think but the big use of it is uh, making a lot of artisans tools yes so artisan well, if I want to make a carpenters I don't need any tools I just need some basic wood products and I'm gonna need another work table yes well that's easy enough to get going the crafting table is thankfully the easy part of it and that is going to need a piece of ash so I guess I shouldn't have compacted all of it it breaks down very fast and I believe that I can use my Minecraft axe for it yep it works just fine then that's gonna need andesite and bricks I need more pulp oh life feels so much faster now just think of how luxurious it'll be once we have a proper metal bucket too won't that just be a wonderful existence the real wonderful existence will be when we have something pumping water into these which unfortunately is probably going to happen right around the time we stop using them so much in any case I had another use of those anyway eh. oh well eh, charcoal still going let's get some more sugar cane because we were just about out Since we have better shovels now, let's in fact expand the field a little bit. Well, I wouldn't say better shovels. We have more plentiful shovels. Which quantity is a quality all of its own, so yeah, they are better shovels. I believe this is the chapter where yeah we're gonna get tinkers tools and that will be truly magnificent just another row just because we've ran out of shovel power it's fine more pulp continue producing the factory must grow in any case I remember I needed a masonry brick and let's get rid of these pit kilns is there anything specific that can be pit kiln that can't be made otherwise 
Eh, not really. Yep. Goodness, those days go fast these days. Piece of andesite. And I believe that it was just six more bricks after that. Good. And then... And then... Need more planks. Have exactly enough. Piece of iron. And behold... Cry out in joy, our savior has arrived. And then... We just need to make tank. And from there, we need a bit more wood still. Should have seen that one coming. tar barrels in the uh, tarred wool, tarred planks, tar bales. No, that's soaking pot only. So we do have a purpose for having just a soaking pot sitting out still. There are some things that can only be accomplished through the power of a big pot in which to soak things. I have those wood chips on me. Good. I need to make another shovel. No, let's get rid of our bone shovel. Since we kept that for some inexplicable reason. Still a little bit of wood tar in the system. That's okay, we can drain it. Yep. It's just a matter of let's get both taps to tapping. Oof, this is another liquid that don't seem to flow. Pyrotech liquids seem to be non Newtonian in nature, I suppose. Yeah, let's make half of them into planks. Or however many of that charcoal will do anyway. Oops. There we are. And now, with that, we can make carpenters if we have the resources. We need more boards and we need more log. Get off of there. How's that for ya? That's exactly right for ya. Good. Good. Things are progressing exactly according to plan. Now, the carpenter's workshop, I believe it primarily uses water. Yeah, I'm just looking at this liquid over on the side there and seeing if it uses anything other than water. That's just no liquid. It uses water alone. That's fine by me. <sighs> and uh, you might have seen just in the quick flash of things passing by that there's quite a lovely amount of recipes on there. A single piece of ash is a fine spare to have. Yes, the Carpenter's Workshop will do quite a lovely number of things for us. Some workshops, I think, are uh, only useful as intermediary products. 
or that you only need them for like one specific thing but some workshops you're going to find yourself using over and over again yes and some of them get very complex indeed generally at this point in the game making a new workshop is going to be our tech advancement in any case yes even though we built a carpenter's workshop it isn't acknowledging us yet because we haven't built our tier rod uh, our tier two huh. fur i think that would warm me up it's really cold right now too hmm. but the norman leggings are more protective and why would it you, what would i do with a wooden bucket Seriously, the reward bags are a little bit uh, questionable. Ah, oh, yes, let's get more clay burning. I already have a bunch of charcoal in my hand. Let's fix that, shall we? Yeah, so at this at this point we've got so many inter so many running processes that it's getting to be a challenge juggling them all. This is about when you start really wishing for automation. But yes, these tool stick tier twos. We really want to make them in the carpenter's workshop. So we really want that hand saw. So what's that gonna cost us? That's gonna cost us one, two, three, four, five tier two tool rods which we need to make the stupid way so we are going to need a total of 10 copper tool rods in order to swing that and we do not have that on hand right now so we need to go and blacksmith up some copper which is just fine and dandy i suppose Let's make a nice big mess of them. Where? Yeah, there it is. Let's make a nice pile of them. Because even when we can do it in the less stupid way, we are still going to need them. Let's lay these out four at a time, because that's about as many as I can do before I lose heat. And while that's heating up, let's take the opportunity to sort away the mess that has grown in our pockets. Let's get those running. And boards. Just get rid of those. Get rid of that. Glue. I guess that if slime balls are down there, glue can be down there. Flint. Over there. And really need to get rid of that flint clay. Let us slick some lime to do just that. Because you can never have enough refractory stuff. Where my axe just thunked. Did I have another axe in my inventory that it replaced itself with? That's neat if true. Let's give it a try. Just keep that in our inventory and see if it'll jump into place when it is most needed. Yes, let's just keep on filling up our work table here. It may seem a little bit wasteful just to have one work table for each for each uh, liquid type, but it's just a little bit of luxury, you know? It's nice to just go over to the crafting area and 
do your work without having to worry about the logistics of carting over your tables to the specific place they need to go and having to empty them out and lose liquids and is just a little bit nicer, you know? There we go. Lovely. How is that coming along? It's getting there. Let's throw a little bit more charcoal on the pile. I'm starting to get so technologically advanced that uh, working off of a floor mat in the rain is beginning to feel like savagery. I I'm growing pride. Perhaps the next time I find some long-lasting processing chain, something that needs to just sit and burn for a good long time, maybe I should uh, start decorating the base properly. Yes. Because now that I can make proper Minecraft torches, going off and raiding one of those ships out on the sea and lighting it up properly is feasible. Like, I, I could just raid it before, but I wouldn't have anything to keep it lit so that as soon as I left, I wouldn't be losing progress, you know? Because, like, hell, am I going to be able to take everything in there in one trip right now? to seal up something new in there. Let's just go with some more log pile. Can't go wrong with that. Lovely. Indeed. I see what the problem was. Okay. And what have we got cooking right now? Have we got anything cooking right now? I don't think we do. Oh, right, the copper. That is what we are cooking up right now. And, yep, it is cooked. So, have to be a little bit speedy with this. just as easy as that. And we will be thanking ourselves later for making so many of these. I'm not sure how many of these we made we need to make a stupid way before we can start making them the easy way. Oops. Well. That's what happens if you accidentally push the button one time too many, I guess. And we can uh, recover our charcoal just like that. Let's get another shovel to hang on to. Was it workshop or was it carpenters? I think it was just basic workshop. No. Ah, yes, and that's another thing. Now that I can make Minecraft hoes real easy, maybe I should uh, finally make a nice big farm, too. Hmm. In any case, this is going to require tons of refractory clay, so it's a good thing that we made a nice batch. Let's just make even more of a batch. And we don't even need our brick mold anymore. We can just do everything in the table. 
Are there any uses for this other than... No. These are entirely just to be burned. So I shouldn't have had that one loose clay ball turned into... That was perhaps a little bit wasteful. Oh well. No, it was... It was refractory clay balls that I was supposed to be using. Derp. Well, we have some... We have some bricks in storage, and I just need to get some more lime slate. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, the derp is strong today. The derp is rather overwhelming. I believe that I can uh, crush these, in, but it's going to need a hammer, isn't it? No? Is this not limestone? Lime crushed. Oh, that needs solid. I gotcha. Hmm. I could have sworn that these crushed down into pebbles, though. Ah, they do on an anvil. Yep. Well, we'll just crush these down. And remind ourselves that this is our punishment for being a derp. Having to do another batch like this because I don't have an artisan's hammer to do this the faster way just yet. That is a fitting punishment for this level of idiocy that I've shown. wonder if I'll run down the table before I run down the stack. These tables really aren't built to last. It's getting there. Yep. There's a kind of rhythm to it once you get into it. It's a good mindless thing to stare at. Ah, that's enough zoning out for the moment. I got good. Yes, we have tons of fuel in this thing. And a nice even stack with no losses. At least, if we aren't smart, we can be a little bit lucky every once in a while. Yes, let's get another batch of clay. Up. Oh, that's, that's ash. That is, in fact, ash. But yes, we should get another batch of clay going. 16. Well, I can tell you that the Pyrotech shovels and the Minecraft shovels aren't uh, going to be replacing each other. But we will see for the axe. Perhaps it is more friendly. Let's get... Yeah, I'm low on planks. Might as well have that burning. I am out of saw blade. And you know what? That is a good opportunity to replace the sawmill for a refractory version. which is something that we can use our new excess of bricks for, because that'll take exactly 35 of them. No, it, it won't even take that. It'll only take um, refractory kiln, refractory oven, sawmill, crucible. Oh yeah, that's another thing if I wanted to make another furnace just to uh, help me out here. But uh, oven, sawmill. Yes, that only takes four. So that's only going to take 20 bricks. Still. And 16 pulp. 
and four iron and a sawmill. Dupe and a dupe, and it is just that easy. And now, if I have the diorite for it, which I don't think I do, yeah, no, because there ain't an easier way to make saw blades just yet, I don't think, if there ever is one. So I need to hunt down some diorite if I want to make a saw blade for that thing. But now that I do have a refractory sawmill, I can make the uh, highest tier saw blade and put it on there if I could swing obsidian shards, which are going to need an artisan's hammer in order to make, I think. Yes, well, they do smash on an anvil. They do. So then the question is, do I have any means of obtaining obsidian? The best pick I have right now is iron. I don't think iron can break obsidian over in the abyss. Because that would be the easiest place to source. It would be to go mining in the first level of the abyss. Hmm. Hmm. In any case, I... Oh, that's right. I need some flint powder, don't I? Because the... Yeah, the lime is well past done slaking at this point. So I just need to crush up some flint. And then just put that over there. And oh, I haven't been slaking my lime. Goodness, I am an idiot tonight. Let's get a little bit more crushed flint. There, that should be perfect. There we go. And now we have a lovely collection of flint clay. And as soon as our lime is all slaked up, we will have a lovely collection of refractory clay balls. I told you it was going to get easier to produce if I would just stop being an idiot. Dynamic angle. The, dr the drama will make it process faster. Yes. I, I don't have the budget for epic music. You're going to have to play that in your head. I, is it sounding suitably epic? If you make it sound more epic, it'll, it'll process faster. That's just how it goes. I suppose I could cut down the trees. I'll do that after this batch. Yes. As soon as this batch comes into existence. There we go. There we go. Now put in its brethren and let's go cut some trees. These are not quite fully grown yet, but oh well. It honestly does not particularly matter. There we go. Yeah, that just means that we're only going to be overloaded instead of... instead of uh, brought to our knees crawling through the water. And let's leave those two to grow. They ain't worth it just yet. And 
give it a boop. Hmm. I wonder if there's any pretty chisels of jungle wood. Because we're going to be building up a nice stockpile of it. All right. And I have far too much flint clay, but that's a good problem to have. And there's a nice pile of clay balls. Yeah, let's let's keep more clay lumps. Let's keep a stack of clay lumps just to just to be turned into glue. And for the rest of them, I'm going to need um, tool rod tier twos. All oh, right, I need tool stick tier ones for that. And I'm going to need at least five of them, aren't I? Yeah. Three, four, five. So, produce those. I think to make that I'm going to need three bricks. And uh, do note that if we put this in a carpenter station, we would also get more. Yes. As soon as we get this damn handsaw, our life is going to get a whole lot easier on the tool rod front is the long and the short of it. But unfortunately, we still need to do things the stupid way in order to earn the technology. And get out of my way. Thank you. And that is the hardest part of the craft done, I do believe. Just getting the damn tool rods together because everything else is pretty much all stuff we have. Yes. Let's look up handsaw. Yeah, that's just a bunch of durable twine, some diamonds, some boards. It's no big deal. Grab our diamonds. Anything else? Two, 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 two. That looks like it's it. And with that, we have officially got our first artisan tool. And it shall make life significantly better. Let us just keep that away in a nice safe place. And oh yes, quest. And also, quest. Hmm. The handsaw can be used as an axe? I guess. Because it replaced my, my regular axe. In any case, yes, that is quest. That is also quest with the handsaw. But, um. Yes, it's just going to have us create some more artisan's tools to essentially work our way up the artisan tools tables uh, tech tree. And since we are capable of building all of our tools out of diamond, they are going to last a good long time. Yeah, we got some decor blocks. That's, uh, that's nice. I guess I do want to build the walls of this place in Norman style eventually. So yeah, sure. More thatch. Okay. Oh no, that's that. Does thatch have any use? Not really. Neat. Goodbye. Um, put away all our junk. Well, my apologies for the excess of idiocy tonight. I guess I'm a little bit brain fried for honestly no valid reason that I can think of. But we, we all just have those nights, I suppose. In any case, I think that is a good place to call it for the evening. We have 
a lovely, lovely carpenter's table. And it is going to help us muchly with our tool rods. All these future uh, artisans tools, yeah, all these future artisans tools, our tool rods are going to come in so much faster now. Yep. And this is also going to be part of opening up a whole number of things. It'll be part of making jack-o'-lanterns so we can have inset floor lighting that's immune from water. It's part of making another wart block? Okay, interesting. Chests! We can finally start producing proper chests, although there are places in the world where we can steal them from, uh, not just the unobtainable ones. Yeah, and you do want to steal them because they are quite expensive. Wooden hoppers, though. Oh, they're still unfamiliar because we need Blacksmith C, which I believe is a book, isn't it? In fact, yeah, I think that's our two books here. It do. We can read those now. And are those going to be quests? I don't think those are going to be quests. No, I don't think those are quests at all. I think these are technically optional. Huh. Well, let's just eat them. Master Blacksmith and Skilled Blacksmith. Indeed. And by eating those, I should now be able to see some... Yes, wooden hoppers. Oh. Now, that isn't the only hopper we have available to us. We have mechanical hoppers, but frankly, mechanical hoppers need cogs to operate, and thus they are finite in their operation. Wooden hoppers are slow, but they never break. Oof. And I don't think they have an internal inventory, they just serve as a shunt, but a shunt is frankly all we need. Yeah. Tinker's armor is going to be on the menu. All of Tinker's is going to be on the menu. We, we could technically make a rail system, but that ain't going to freaking happen. Not with it, it costing that much. Yeah, it's exciting times ahead of us, everybody. Let's run to the village because I didn't realize what time it was. And I spent far too long simply nattering away, heedless of my surroundings. Hey, Padre. Good tip on that alchemist, by the way. Thanks. You're cool with this, right? Yeah. But yes, exciting, exciting times ahead. You have a good evening, everybody.